Welcome back to Kids Fun Science. My name's Ken. Today's experiment is the smoke waterfall. As always, adult supervision is required. What you need for this experiment is a lighter, sticky notes, rocks, fish tank, and an L bracket, and a cup. Start off with your uh, sticky note with the sticky part facing up. Roll towards that sticky part until it gets to the end, and then it should just stick right onto the end of the roll. You want to make it a little bit smaller than a pencil, so you want to be able to fit into the hole of the bracket as you see here, and then you light it with your lighter, and the smoke will come down the sticky note and pour down it like a waterfall, as you saw there in the cup. Here, um, I'm in a fish tank because when there's air or movement in the air, it makes it harder for the waterfall smoke to uh, go straight down as the current will move the smoke everywhere. By having it in a contained fish tank, as I do here, you can see the smoke is going completely down the rock waterfall and all the way to the base of the fish tank. So the science behind why doesn't the smoke rise, right? When the paper burns, it breaks down into millions of gases and water vapors. Normally, these molecules are heavier than air. The flame excites these molecules, making them lighter than air, which makes the rising smoke you see in a normal fire rise up. So in this experiment, the, all the hot smoke molecules are being trapped inside the paper tube, which prevents them from rising. The trapped smoke molecules are giving time to cool off, which releases the energy that allows them to be lighter than air. The cooler smoke molecules fall instead of rise and escape out the paper tube and creates a smoke waterfall effect, which is pretty cool. I hope you enjoyed this experiment, and thanks for watching. So guys, if you like these videos, there's some right there, and right there, and right there, and right there. And you can...